folks what's going on earthmaster here on this new year's eve december 20 uh, december 21st december 31st 2020 the last day of 2020 thank god 7 27 p.m west coast time here last day of 2020 a lot of folks are uh, definitely excited about that doing some party and whatnot out there but you know could 2021 be uh <laughs> be worse who knows i guess we'll have to see 4.4 out here in this region of the world. A lot of activity out here in the North American plate and the Fiji Islands area southward. It looks like some deeper movement taking place out in that region. Oklahoma, Texas, seeing some uh, a cluster of quakes out there with a 4.0 being the largest quake in that sequence of activity out in the Texas area. Kind of out there around the Pecos, Texas, it looks like a region. That activity has been uh, off and on, it seems like, over the year. Um, and definitely uh, kind of shaking things up out there in the Texas area. Did have a 3.1 up in Oklahoma. Just looks like it's south of uh, Oklahoma City area. <clears throat> Maybe right around the uh, Paul's Valley area in Oklahoma. Or to the, to the uh, it looks like it's to the southwest of there. 3.1 striking the area out there. I'm going to see if I can get through this real quick without losing my voice. I do want to cover <clears throat> some activity there in the San Francisco Bay Area. They did have a, uh, a quake that was felt throughout the region. Not a big one, but it's the uh, biggest one that they've seen uh, in a while within the specific sec section of the San Andreas Fault. That's right. Three points. Well, did they lower that? 3.3. I thought that was a little bit larger. May have been a little bit bigger. Looks like they may have downgraded that. Okay. Either way, this earthquake there on the San Andreas Fault was felt uh, over a uh, pretty significant area. Quite a few folks reported feeling that in the Bay Area. Of course, large populated regions. More reports um, <clears throat> throughout the area. Just some light shaking to uh, weak to light shaking. Uh, and once again, right, right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault in an area right around where the 1906 earthquake struck here. Well, maybe to the south. This here is the uh, 3.0 earthquake and above, all the way up to 8.0 since about 1890. Yeah, there's a lot. There's no doubt there's a lot here. The 1906 earthquake was this specific quake here. About, ooh, what are we looking at? About four miles or so, maybe five miles south, just off the San Andreas Fault there, uh, and roughly within that same area of today's uh, earthquake. That uh, big one back there in 1906, of course, 7.9, uh, devastated the San Francisco area, pretty much leveled it, all but leveled it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of video floating around from uh, that day. Uh, yes, they did have video cameras rolling back then, and uh, they've done some uh, rest, rest, restoration on those videos, and it looks pretty cool. 1906 quake was uh, definitely a uh, pretty powerful one there. So this this area up here, the northern part of Sandra's Fall, is really not an area um, that has, I mean, it's built up some stress, right, since 1906, obviously over 100 years, but... It's not in an, uh, it's not the section that we're looking at for a uh, higher percentage, but you never know, right? Scientists are saying that the northern section is kind of of least concern. The uh, central branch did have the uh, um, quake. I can't remember exactly when that was there. Uh, Parkfield area, I believe. But the southern section is the region that has not seen any release of earthquake activity in quite some time and that's uh that's a one that scientists are talking or geologists are talking about uh you know the big one happening on and that's uh that's of uh definitely some concern out there as far as the activity currently down there pretty quiet looking at the all magnitudes we'll zoom in here and you can see uh, relatively quiet activity not a whole lot of swarming not a whole lot of movement, just general activity taking place here. So uh, I do have my nephew here partying with me tonight. Well, not partying, but hanging out. Uh, so I'm not for sure how long he's going to let me do this update video. But I'm trying to get through it real quick before he gets too bored. 
there's that cluster of quakes out there around Big Spring, Texas, about five earthquakes or so, 4.0 being the largest in that sequence of quakes. Yellowstone National Park area, seen some uh, movement. Looks like way earlier this morning, some microquakes are taking place around the borehole, a little west thumb, right around Lake Yellowstone as well. Far as the trimmer map goes in the uh, Pacific Northwest, right now, zero epicenter, so kind of odd. But, uh, you know, it bounces back and forth. Sometimes we see uh, activity, and uh, sometimes we don't. So it's pretty, uh, it's just common, you know, to get those uh, flip floppy days there. Uh, let's go back here, all magnitudes, and look at the activity in Idaho that's kind of ramping up. It's just like over here, too. We, uh, uh, it comes and goes right along the Sawtooth Fault System, seeing some earthquake activity as well. Uh, a little bit further south than where we've been seeing. And, uh, yeah, this, this area right here, very capable of producing good, a good sized quake as well. What do we got? A couple hours left. 2020 ended out with a big earthquake somewhere. Hey, it's possible. You never know. Western Pacific out here. Just some sporadic, moderate sized earthquakes. A deep movement continues there in the Fiji Islands area, of course, with, uh, uh look at the depths there of, uh, those quakes. 564 kilometers and uh, many of those around that same level. Some movement here around the Indonesia Islands area as well, some deeper movement. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of seeing what happens the rest of the night, folks. Just be safe out there, you know, don't, uh, don't uh, get all crazy. You know, a lot of people like to drink and party and hang out and celebrate the new year, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, you know, to each his own. That's, there's, Nothing wrong with that. You gotta do it safely. You have to be safe if you're out there drinking, driving. Or you definitely want to be driving, but if you're drinking, stay home. If you're driving out there as a sober person, just be careful, be cautious out there on the road. There's a, uh, you know, there are people out there that do drink and drive, and that's uh, unfortunate. So, I hear some fireworks going off already here in my neck of the woods. All right, guys, I'm going to end it. I just wanted to wish everyone a uh, happy new year out there. And we'll see you guys in 2021, unless we get a big earthquake before the night's over. Stay safe out there, everyone.